Hi everyone, my name is Alex, and today I'm going to be doing a brief demonstration of Microsoft Teams, specifically with higher ed in mind and switching from a seated course to an online format. So firstly, we're going to discuss setting up a meeting rather briefly, um, but we're also going to talk about scheduling it as well as adjusting permissions for students, as I am finding that a lot of the Microsoft forums uh, have some unanswered questions uh, regarding editing students permissions in, in the teams as it defaults to giving everyone including students the same permissions as the faculty. So first let's set up a meeting. If you see here at the bottom there's a little meet now icon. Let's click on that and this brings us this little box that pops up and we're going to actually go down to schedule a meeting. Now that we have this window open we can just name it class meetings and that should work and we're just going to adjust the time to be from 5 to 6 p.m. and this class is going to meet Monday, Wednesday, Friday so we're going to go to does not repeat we're going to change this actually to custom now on this page our start date we're just going to keep it at today that's fine uh, but we want it to repeat every week because once we select that we get this little pop-up of the days of the week and we can select Monday, Wednesday, Friday now it will automatically schedule this out to as long as we decide in the end section here. So we're going to go to the end of April, the last Friday of April, and we're going to click save. Now this is the the length of time that this class is going to meet. Now obviously if, yours is, if your school is going to be closed for two weeks, feel free to adjust that accordingly. But this is now looking good, so we're going to click send. And this is going to automatically add it to the team. And every student who is in this team is automatically going to be able to see this pop up. So this is super helpful and should hopefully get everybody organized and on one page. Um, so now that we have our meeting set up, though, we're going to go over here to this three dot icon. This is how we're going to be able to set up the permissions, because by default, everybody who joins this meeting is going to be a professor. Essentially, they're, they're able to present they're able to mute other people's microphones they have the same permissions as you for the most part so what we're gonna do is click on these three dots and we're gonna go to view meeting details from here now we're at the meeting that we set up we're gonna click meeting options this will open up a new tab and it shows our meeting name and the the time that it's going to meet at and and also the our account. Um, now, the thing we're interested in here is who can present. We want to change this to only me because I'm the faculty for this class. So this is this is going to be the setting that we're going to want. And we're going to click save. Now that's done. By default, anybody who joins this aside from myself will be an attendee versus a presenter. So they won't be able to present their screen, mute other students, kick students out of the call. Uh, they will only be able to sit there and listen, essentially, um, with their, their webcam and, and microphone on. But now we're going to join because, say, you're doing group presentations or class presentations where um, individuals need to share their screen. That is still doable with these settings. So we clicked join, and now we're going to click join now to get out of the lobby and into the actual meeting. Now that we're here, we're going to go to participants. Now, I'm the only person in here right now, but if you have other students in here, they will show up. Um, for myself, there are no right clicking options, but for the other students, there will be. And there's also going to be three dots on the side. They do the same thing. Um, now, when you, re when you right click on a student, there will be a make an attendee option if they are a presenter. But in this case, since we, we configured it so that they're all automatically attendees, you're going to be able to change them to presenter. So that way they can share their screen for their presentation. Now, when they're done, you can right click on them, change it again and set them as attendee. Then they'll go back to being with uh, standard student permissions. That pretty much sums up the, the purpose of this video. I hope that this fills a little bit of the, the gaps that I'm finding in the forums online. Uh, if you have any questions, suggestions, um, or other ways of, of doing some of these things, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to be able to get a little bit more information 
and be of as much help as I can during this COVID-19 outbreak and helping with preparation. So have a wonderful day, and I look forward to talking to you in the comment section below.